What's going on guys, Tanma here for Simple Snippets and in today's video tutorial, we are going to be looking into the file handling mechanism in C++ programming. In the previous video tutorial, we saw how exception handling works in C++ programming so if you have missed that video, you might want to check that out. So with that being said, let's get started. So what are files and streams? Now files basically are used to store data permanently and now file can be any file for example excel file, txt files, binary files, so on and so forth. Depending upon their extension we have multiple types of files. So what exactly is a stream? So a stream is an abstraction that represents a device on which input and output operations are performed. Now this might sound a little absurd but in general stream can basically be represented as a source or destination of characters of indefinite length. Now we've already been using streams and we've been including a header file name as iostream so we'll take a look at what it is exactly so this is a basic structure of file handling in c++ now remember we use c in to take input from the terminal and we use c out to print output on the terminal now the c in and c out object definition is basically residing in the iostream.h header file so that is the reason why every time we use c in and c out we need to include the iostream.h header file so if you've been following the tutorials up until now we've already always included the iostream file always as the first line so it's like a preprocessor directive and we've talked about what preprocessor directives are in the previous tutorials Similarly, what if you don't want to perform input output on the terminal? Now in this case, we want to perform input output in a file. So for that, we have one more header file which is known as fstream. And using this fstream header file, we have two classes. Now I know you don't know what classes and objects are essentially, but in general you can consider classes as user defined data types. So when we include this fstream header file, we have two classes that is ifstream and offstream. To take input, we use ifstream and for output we use off stream so basically we will be creating variables of if stream and off stream and i'll show you an example so you will get a better understanding of how to perform file handling so this was just the theoretical aspect now let's try to write a program in which we will take input from user we'll write it to the text file and then we'll again open that same text file and read whatever we've written so this is the functionality and that will give you a complete idea about how to perform file handling in the practical sense so these are the three different points that we just discussed. So as I told off stream data type represents the output file stream and is used to create files and write information to the file. If stream is used to perform input operation that is take input from the file and the f stream represents the file stream generally it has capabilities of both off stream and if stream and we can perform both the operations and we need to include that header file as well. So let's see an example. So quickly open up your devc++ ID or whichever ID you use to code and type down this code wherein we have the basic structure of the C++ program. So you can see we have hash encode iostream header file then we are using namespace standard and this is the beginning of our main function. Now since this is a file handling program we want to open a file that is open a text file. We want to take input from the user and we want to copy that input and store it in the file. So say for example I will take the name and age of a user. I will write that to a file and then later on I will again open that file, read that file and print whatever it is in the file on the command prompt. So this is the functionality that we are going to go about. Now as I mentioned to perform file handling we need to include one more preprocessor directive. So I'll say hash include which is a preprocessor directive and inside this we need fstream header file. Without this we won't be able to use the classes that we mentioned that is the if, if stream and off stream. So in the main function we'll start the coding. First thing I'll do is I'll create a character array of size 100. I'll say the name as arr. Next thing I'll do is I'll say c out. I'll ask the user enter your name and age. Now we want to take the entire line as input. So right now we have a function to take entire input and store it in the array. We have to say c in dot and you can see the interlessness has popped up and you can already see the functions and the function is going to be get line. Inside this we need to pass the array name. The array name is arr and the size of the array which is 100 which we have declared it over here. Now this function that is c in dot get line is going to take the entire line that the user enters when he enters the name and age and it will store it inside this array. So up until now we've taken the input from the user. Now we have to create a file and we want to store this line that we've taken from the user inside that file. So in order to write to a file, remember I told you we have to use the class of stream. So I'll say of stream my file and we have to name the file. So I'll say xyz.txt. 
since this is a text file i'll give the extension as .txt now you, you might be wondering what exactly did i do at this line so this off stream is essentially acting as a data type now similar to write what we create when we say int x float y like that we have a user defined data type which is known as off stream and this is a variable of this type so my file is essentially a name like what we have given over here x and y are names that we have defined right similarly my file is a name of a variable of the data type off stream so what exactly is this part this is basically calling a constructor which we have still yet to discover and study but essentially what we are doing is we are opening a file which is going to be a text file and we are saying that this is supposed to be the name so we are doing it in a constructor which is sort of a function which basically initializes and sets the initial settings when we when we want to do something with that variable so this variable is associated with this file which is a text file and since the variable type is off stream we can write on to that file using this variable now there are different modes in which you can open a file so that modes i'll explain you in a while right now we'll just open it as it is now what we want to do is we want to write whatever we have in this array to this file so i'll say my file i'll use insertion operator and i'll say arr so what we are doing is whatever we have in this array is being written to this file and before that we need to check one condition if the file is open or not so i'll say if my file dot is open and if it is open then perform this so we can explicitly open the file as well so i'll say my file dot open and it will open the file now there is no need to perform this if operation after writing the array content to the file we can say my file dot close and what we can do is we can just print out a message saying file write operation performed successfully and i'll give two x escape sequence so that the cursor gets on the next line so just let me just save this as file example file eg dot cpp and let's try to compile and run this okay we got a error because we did not include a semicolon over here i'll just erase this line itself save this and i'll say compile and run again and one thing i forgot is we need to open or we need to pass the file name as well inside this so the open function takes a parameter which is basically the file name so let me just save this compile and run and there you go the file opened successfully so it's asking for the name and age so let me just give the name as tanmay and age as 24 and there you go file write operation performed successfully so where exactly is this file created so this file is created where the file.exe program is running so you can see the entire path over here youtube slash playlist cpp practicals programs file handling and inside this we have this exe file so that is the location where the file has been created so let's go ahead and see whether it is created or not i'll say open containing folder that will take me directly to that location and you can see that xyz.txt is created let me just double click and there is no text i don't know why so let me see what exactly is the error okay so by default the file is being open and we do not need to include this function when i actually create this variable of off stream data type it by default opens the file so we can directly write to it and so i just had to exclude that so i'll just save this i'll say compile and run it will ask me for my name i'll say tanmay age 24 enter file read operation performed successfully so let's see if the file has this content that is tanmay and space 24 so there you go you can see that we have the data in the file so now we have performed the file write operation successfully now the next thing is the file read operation now before we go to the read operation let me just show you why i performed cin.getline instead of just cin so let me just comment this out now at this point we could have just said cin and taken the array input from the user but what happens is when we take this kind of array input anything after a space is ignored by that i mean let me just show you now i'll say tanmay space 24 but this time only tanmay is going to be stored because we have a space included in between hit enter and that file is overwritten with the new content so let me just open that file and i'll show you so there you go as you can see the 24 number is not included because when we take input in such a way that is we simply write c in and take the array input anything after the space is being ignored that is the reason why we need to use c in dot get line to take the entire line with the space included okay so that was for a file write operation now we have to perform file read operation for that we have to use if stream object so i'll say if stream i'll say obj we can name anything again inside this i'll have to pass the file name i'll say xyz.txt now this will directly open the file in read mode 
or else print a message reading from file operation started and then we'll create this if stream object hit enter now what i'll do is i'll say obj dot get line and this obj is linked to the file so whatever the file content is is going to be filled inside the array variable that we've created the array named arr that we have created and the size is 100 so now we know this object is of type if stream which is basically used for taking input from a file and the file name is xyz.txt so using this obj variable i'm saying get or get line and whatever the text associated inside this xyz.txt file is going to be filled inside this array variable which is of size 100 now again what we can do is we can say see out array content and just print out the array itself for clarification purpose i'll create one more array of char type so i'll say arr1 again of size 100 and we'll use this array so that we can be sure that content of arr and arr1 are matching so after this we can say obj.close just save this and lastly we can print the message file read operation successful completed just save this and go to execute compile and run so it is asking me for the name and age i'll say simple snippets which is one year old so our channel is one year old now now if you still haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe to this channel okay hit enter and there you go file write operation performed after that we printed the read from file operation started we have the array content space simple snippets and one and lastly we printed the message file read operation completed so it's not on the next line because i forgot to mention endl over here so if i give endl it will come on the next line so this is taking input storing it in a file reading that file again and printing it on the command prompt now every time you run this program the file is being overwritten so anything already written in the file is being erased and that file is again and again overwritten so what if you don't want this case what what if you want that every time you open the file you want more content to be added in the end so that in that case we have to open the file in append mode that is whatever we add new is being added extra at the end of file and then old content remains the same so that it does not get deleted so in that case the object which deals with printing or putting the data in the file that is off stream object which is my file needs to be opened in a different mode so to do that we have to add one more parameter in this function and it is code ios colon app which is append mode just save this and we already know that currently our xyz.txt file has one text that is simple snippets and one so what we'll do is we'll try to run this program and we'll see if more text is being appended so let's go and say execute compile and run now i'll say my name and age hit enter and there you go you can see while reading the array content is simple snippets one and one more data is being added tanmay and 24 which we just added right now this means that the old data that is simple snippets one was not deleted from the file and we just added the new content that is tanmay space 24 to the file so to clarify this let's try to open the file again xyz.txt and there you go you can see we had the first data which was already there then we added a new line that is tanmay24 which got appended to this existing file now this is because we opened the file in append mode now there are different modes of opening a file such as ios colon colon in which is basically to perform input operation that is taking input from the file then we have ios colon colon out which is essentially performing output operation to the file that is when we want to write something to the file then we have app which we just saw that was append mode and then again we have ate which is always take to the end of file and if you don't want anything then you can keep it default and of stream object that is the output the object which performs output will directly by default open the file in output mode so you don't have to type in ios colon colon out explicitly over here because this my file object is of of stream itself so it is essentially opening the file to perform output operation itself by default however there is one more case that is when we create a f stream object in that case when you open the file i'll define it over here we can also create f stream object but remember f stream can perform both input and output so we have to tell what exactly it is going to perform so i'll say ios out so in this case the first is output operation that is we want to write to the file so even this program will run let me just try and execute this there you go since it is ra running which means that stream object is working successfully you can see 
Sachin 34 and you can see reading from file operation started and here since it was not an append operation we did not say append so it was opened in output but it erased the original find content and it overwrote it with the new content that is Sachin 34 so if you want to open it in output mode as well as in append mode you can just use an or sign and you can say ios colon colon app which is opening to perform output operation using append mode so i'll just save this go to this and compile and run and i suppose there is only one single operand compile and run yeah correct so it's not two times the straight line this is just single time and i will say 124 and there you go it is opening in output mode but in append mode as well so both the modes are included so this was about input output operations and that is essentially file handling so yeah that's it for this video guys i hope you understood the concept of file handling and we also saw a practical example wherein we created a file we wrote some characters into that file in a text file then we again opened that file and read from that file and displayed the output on the console so if you have any queries you can always put them in the comment section and if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel peace